A Southland CEO will be featured on the new reality TV show Undercover Boss. It will air right after the Super Bowl. CBS News Dave Malkoff found out the CEO has one dirty job, but loves every minute of it. All you're looking for is just cardboard, pure cardboard. Throw it in the blue bin. This is where it goes. It never stops, right? Sorted by machine and hand by waste management rank and file workers. You're Mario. Yes, good morning. Hi, I'm Dave. Mario. Normally, this is an entry level position. Hey, Walter, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. But this guy right here. The job you're going to be doing is cleaning toilets. Is Larry O'Donnell. Larry O'Donnell's our president and chief operating officer. We're pulling off all the glass, plastics, tin cans. Just like me, the boss took to the front lines for CBS cameras. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Sounds simple, right? Okay, so so this one over there, over here. What? What was it? What? Brown over there. Brown, brown. Well, it's not. The employees were told that they were tr filming a training video, so they weren't too suspicious about all the cameras following him around. This goes pretty fast. Oh, no, that ain't fast. This is the slowest line I have in here. Oh no. Brown bottles here. Clear bottles here, plastic in here. I figured it out. It's like Tetris. You got to figure out which pieces are coming down the line, where they go, and do it as fast as you possibly can. Imagine Tetris with a billion types of pieces. Plastic, cardboard. Oh, look, someone's Air. weave. Cardboard, game, Bud Light. It's hard to figure it out as fast as it's going. Uh, that was a real eye opener for me. I think it's given me a whole new perspective. After the third day, you'll be all right. Undercover Boss is the show where the boss man saw the problems female truck drivers don't want to bring up. And he learned that um, she didn't have a bathroom that she could use during the day, so she actually had to go to the bathroom in a can. Obviously, that led to immediate changes. So that they weren't docked for their productivity in order to stop for a bathroom break. What happens to all this cardboard? eventually makes money for the head office, that's what. Maybe one of the other things that Larry got was a newfound respect for how hard these frontline jobs are. These bales of paper are shipped out of here on their way to China. As for me, I'm out of here as well. Got fired for the slow job I was doing. See how the undercover boss here at Waste Management did for yourself this Super Bowl Sunday right after the game right here on CBS. In Pico Rivera, Dave Malkoff, CBS 2 News. That's going to do it for us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Laura Diaz.